morning, Spartans. Today is Tuesday, September 17th. I'm Megan, and this is 300 Seconds. Please pause for a moment of silence and scripture of the day. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. I'm Jenny. And I'm Megan, and these are the announcements. P.S. Shout out to Mr. Wilson for being the best substitute teacher. As we continue to raise money for our annual fund, we have some special incentives for special students whose families are all in. If your parents have made a pledge or donated, Thursday you may wear college t-shirt and jeans. On Monday, students whose parents have donated may wear Spartan Spirit and that will continue for the rest of the Mondays of the drive. Our annual fund tournament Friday will have a start time based on senior high participation percentage. If we have 40% participation, our tournament will start at 1.30. With 50% participation, it will start at 1, and 60% will start at 12.30. Finally, we will have an off-campus lunch on Friday, September 27th, for each grade that hits 75% participation by Thursday, September 26th. Congratulations to our Lady Spartans for making it to the semis of the gold tournament at Darlington this weekend. Taylor McPherson led the offense with 24 kills, Lindsay Holton controlled the net with 9 blocks, and Emily Becker anchored the defense with 41 digs. Madison Kerr made the all-tournament team with her 59 assists, 8 aces, 37 digs, and 11 kills. The girls will play Tuesday night at Brookwood at 6 and 7 p.m. Go Spartans! Congratulations to the following students for placing in the 7th Annual Eagle Invitational this past Saturday at East Jackson High School. Miller Kettle placed 5th and Abby Kettle placed 8th. There will be an informational meeting on Tuesday, September 24th, 3.15 p.m. in the Spartan Gym for any senior high boy interested in wrestling this season. For those in a fall sport, please contact Coach Jeff Harsh for important information about the upcoming season. Current National Honor Society members who are interested in applying for an officer position for this school year should pick up an application from Dr. Henderson in room T106 or from the high school office. Applications must be turned in to Dr. Henderson or Mrs. Miller by Friday, September 27th at 3 p.m. Juniors and seniors who are eligible to become members of the National Honor Society have had application forms placed on their lockers. Application forms should be completed and returned to Dr. Henderson or Mrs. Miller by Tuesday, September 24th at 3 p.m. This is a solid deadline. Attention Mu Alpha Theta members. Today is the last day of elections for officers. This can be found on the Mu Alpha Theta Haiku page. Let Ms. Penson know if you have any questions. Applications for NAHS are due by tomorrow. For more information about NAHS membership requirements and benefits, check the GACS website or ask an art teacher. That's all for the show. Stay tuned if you want to find out what the fox says. Ryan, what do you think a fox sounds like? I think a fox kind of sounds like this. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. It sounds like this. Oh. No, no, no. Actually, it probably sounds like this. Yeah. No, okay. Let's figure out what a fox really sounds like. Hey, that's all for the show today, folks.